Okay, Birmingham. Oh, granary. Upgraded granary. We got the blood walls. Let's have a look. The bloodstone walls. They look like normal walls. That's not Birmingham. Oh. Oh yeah. They do look different. Birmingham is cool. They got little. They got little flags. Little red flags. <laughs> I think it was worth it. Personally, uh, York is growing. Work count. Finally. Really. Having capital attack is is not bad. It's like a little bit of damage every it turn. Doesn't do a lot. Uh oh. Oh no, they're attacking Krasnodar. Oh. They took a <laughs> Suzdal back. Oh fuck sake! God's sake! How do you deal with all these barbarians? It was just one warlord. <laughs> well, I thought I was clearing them out around, but yeah. obviously I wasn't. I'm not doing enough of a good job. It's it's an eternal job, like we clearing need, all these. We need these. to have. A garrison in every city. Yeah, like a, a little, a little couple of troops in every city. They're gonna die. You just got them killed. What do you mean? I only got twenty-two defense. It's a berserker though, and they're in the town. There's two city militia there as well. Oh, the town has militia too. Okay. Yeah, that, that, it was attacked, and mm. so I'm using them to help defend it. What is this? A barbarian scout? Scout Can you spawn these spearmen up here. I won't until they're needed. Um, God, we're going to be in the Age of Kings next turn, then we hopefully will get a new well, we thing be to using spend all cool of our down. warfare. We should be using it on cooldown, really. 63, no. But we're going to get a new oh. tree. We're going to get a new tree very soon. Um, you're right. Get ready for a new tree, baby. Keep healing them. No, we're just going to go straight into Delhi. Yeah? Yeah. We've got a big oh, army. We've we got two armies there. We need have to deal to, with that army. Have the, the merchant left. join onto those guys. Oh, this thing that's around here, yeah. Do you want me to go and ambush this warlord? Yeah, do it. Send him across the desert. Splat. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Let's go and take these guys out. <laughs> <laughs> Just so he doesn't get a chance to heal them. Yeah, yeah. Because it might be a while before we bring a proper set of troops over here. Okay, yes. The Age of Kings. The Age of Kings. The United Kingdom of Spartans enters the Age of Kings. Yes. We can build a castle. So we can build a castle. And found a religion. You can build a castle by specializing an outpost to provide a culture bonus. Generate culture per religious population by founding or joining a religion. Oh, nice. You found or join religion with a found religion, culture, power, or the adopt religion, arts, domain, power, and this new national spirit. Exciting stuff, right? So we're, what, 93 turns in, maybe about four and a half hours, five hours, and we've just got religions unlocked. We've just unlocked religions. <laughs> I think we're on the long game speed here. And we've met Germany and Greece and Rome and, and USA. All the other people that we haven't met before. Okay. So much, there's so much unlocked all of a sudden, right? So let's m let's peace out with those, but keep the war room of India going. Okay, well, we'll peace out with all the other people we haven't met yet, because I guess they're all a different continent to us. I think they must be, yeah. And we can always war them if we need to, but I just don't want to. Yeah, but we'll we'll take our continent, we'll secure the whole continent to, for us, and then, well, I guess we'll build some boats. We're close to the warfare cap. Uh, warfare point cap. We okay. are, so now we can do a new national spirit. Ah, and we, we're the first ones to pick, I assume. We are, so we get a bonus for what we want to do. Now, we don't have to do warfare again, but if well, we I do, think... we've already banked 200 warfare points. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, uh, but I it feel might like not be a good idea. We still haven't killed India, so maybe we should do one more Age of War. So, Crusaders let us unlock knights. Pretty cool! Uh, we can get rid of heretical religions. <laughs> um, we can build military be headquarters, <laughs> which is warfare XP, and unlock a reliquary, which gives us need. Which is um, so people do need faith, and this would be the building that you could use for that. Okay. Holy lands doubles your culture earned from religious population. Pretty interesting. That's nice. Uh, and so I guess that's, that's actually crusading. And then this lets you go and crusading and steal other people's lands where they founded their religion. So because I don't think we're going to do... 
I know we saved up all this warfare XP, but I now don't know if we want to spend it. Barbarian Lacans! Oh my gosh. So, we another nation that would... Spawn a barbarian settlement next to an enemy settlement. That's, that's No, spawn a barbarian next to an enemy settlement. That's pretty that's funny. That's fun. Um, this doesn't look great, though. Horse archers and stuff. So, the other options are cru explorers. So, we could get a little naval exploration vessel go out on the sea. That might be fun. We don't have much exploration XP. Use though. the explorer to launch the expedition on previously discovered landmarks. Because now we've got control of all these landmarks, oh, we could actually cool. go and get Mount Everest. We could get. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot we can get. The mysterious jungle and the frozen wastes are up here. We could get um, Grand Canyons down here, frozen wastes there's, down yeah, here, and Aurora. Aurora. There's a bunch. Well, we I mean, we already control a lot of the world, and we need to explore the coast. I'd really like to send a boat out. Yeah. With the NAR. Okay, let's, let's do that. That's an idea. I don't say it's, oh, it's not the only one we can pick. We could pick machinery, okay, where we go iron prospecting. You could spawn an iron prospecting. Now, he will find iron in your hills. Oh. So he's a way to actually get yourself iron in a city that doesn't have iron. Okay. Um, so we could. I don't think we're very iron heavy, though, are we here? Very, not very hills much heavy. Hills. <laughs> Especially not in There's this region. There's a lot of region. hills in India. I don't think that's one for us, probably. But this trebuchets, clock towers, buildings that generate luxury. Luxuries. Uh, tinkerers. Tinkerer. Building ex engineering XP. Mm. So this is an idea we could do. Um, then there's diplomacy. So the shogunate. Samurais. Samurai. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess they're pretty good for, like, keeping yourself going while you're working on diplomacy. Um, yeah, so you could vassalize minor nations and stuff like this. I think, I think this is something we are probably don't need because we've already conquered everywhere. Yeah. And I, I think like, Spice Merchants like as well. Like, we, we don't have that many people to trade with because we've kind of mm -hmm. conquered everywhere, at least in our region. And then we've got Chivalry. Spawn two Tavern. peasants at each of your vassals. Oh, these oh, are crappy cool. units. You can get some crappy peasant units. Um, vassal population growth rate per turn. Oh, this looks like us. Um, yeah, cool banners. Action dub a peasant. Action that turns a peasant into a knight. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then it's a tavern. Spawn you can one build. settler and one knight in the capital. Tavern. This sounds fun. So spawning settles seems weird as well to like get get fill up. I mean, we could use settlers to fill in all these gaps in our yeah. empire. You know, like there's a I couple like of gaps. chivalry. I think I'm I'm down for some chivalry. And then there's theologians as well, which is science based stuff. So we could so go faith and it's mostly faith, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we don't want to neglect faith entirely because people, a certain cities when they get big enough, they will start asking for faith. Um, I'm sure there's other buildings pretty soon. Use, yeah. Um, okay, so what's the choice? I mean, Explorers, of course, gives us the NAR and the, so the landmarks. Get the landmarks again. This could be really good rewards, you know. Um, could, but I feel like we, if we're going, if we're going to fill this land with vassals, it just makes sense to get chivalry. Chivalry. This does require this sort of slightly strange. Like, cool resource. banners will spawn two peasants at each of your vassals. At every one we have. Oh wow! And then we can, and then we can always upgrade them to. To nights if we later need to. On. Okay, this is actually really powerful, yeah. Yeah. All right, fine. And this would help defend all of our vassals too. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be really good. Okay, fine. Chivalry it is. Chivalry it is, Duncan. So we need arts points. We get currently getting zero per turn. Okay, well, so I'm sure there's stuff in there that we are going to need art some points. arts buildings. Now, I think we're going to have to research those. Yeah. Um, but let's see what we can get then. So research-wise. Um, I wonder where the art stuff is. First of all, do mm. we miss any? I don't think so in the Age of Blood. I don't think so. And I think we didn't miss any here either. Not a lot of art in the Age of Blood. No, I think this is Diplomacy, XP, Exploration, Envoys. No, I don't th I don't think we missed any art stuff. So it must be in here. Now, is it Knowledge? That's all Knowledge. Guilds is... Diplomacy. Diplomacy, XP... A Wealth, villa, luxury, and how and housing. Uh, this um, is a winery. Winery that makes luxury. So we are gonna have to think about that at some point. A great hall Diplomacy. and a jeweler that, that gives arts XP. But you need converts two gold into two jewelry. We don't have any gold. We do not have gold. We might need. We might have to find some gold. 
on the map. Or prospect. Special arm. Oh, they look cool. They do, like proper pikes and proper mm. long swords. Armories. Warfare XP. That's all warfare stuff. Organized religion is temples. Culture, knowledge, faith. Holy faith. sites. We're going to need this at some point, but. And feudalism is. Oh, there's a load of stuff here. Cloud farm. Large plantation. Ranch. <laughs> kitchen. Converts two meat, olives, or sugar into two delicacies. Okay. Hmm. Um, and this is, sorry, it's Castle Town. Culture. And increases the max town level. Where's all the Arts control. XP from? I guess the only one I've seen is from... There's machines in the universe we haven't looked at yet. This is machines. Oh, yeah, machines is production, production. and production. production. And, the, and the university? It's a logging camp. And this one is... Um, this one is uh, knowledge, knowledge and knowledge. They're both knowledge. So where do we get our XP? I guess there's only one thing, which is this jeweler. We don't have any gold, though. Yeah, I know. It's like weird. Maybe there's. Maybe it's because we've had no. Do you think there was when we skipped the, the age of blood? Whatever we missed the a bunch age of blood of art. used to be. Oh no, we've picked chivalry and we don't have any. Well, <laughs> of any art. It's not great. We'll, we'll, <laughs> uh, we'll probably manage. I'm assuming we'll be able to find it in places. Um. It's not like we. I mean, we only get like three exploration. Hover over arts. It might tell you about it. Yeah, like, like, how do we, how do we get it? Um. Uh, mm hmm. Yeah. Doesn't say. Okay. Well, we now know we don't need too much either. We just need like a hundred and twenty, right? We don't need like like loads and loads of it. So. If we can find some gold, if we can prospect some There's gold, be some gold in this continent. I think somewhere. you can get these guys, these like prospector guys. This guy, and he will search for deposits oh, of yeah, gold look. in hills. There we go. Grab one now. Okay, where? Okay. Okay. Where, where do we have? Where hills? is there a hill? Uh, There's no India hills in our a, starting zone. India has a bunch of hills. Okay, we might have to get all of our arts XP from India. Look, there's gold there. Oh yeah, there is gold there. Look. They've obviously prospected some gold. Okay. Right. Well, let's see if we can integrate this in 45 turns. Um, so send the... We need to get the merchant there. So can we spawn a merchant on it? We can just bring or the do merchant. do move our merchant over? Oh, yeah, that would be this. Okay, okay, sure. We have merchants in Bhopal. Okay, this is a start. This is a st okay, okay. We, we really got to take Bangalore soon then to just... Make sure that that's all clear. So, shall we get some more volunteers then? Some more berserkers? Shall we use up our warfare XP? We're still berserkers. Oh, what we can do is the cavalry can be upgraded now. I think. I look. I saw a little an arrow. The cavalry was out here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. The green arrow. Knights. Okay. Well, we should do that. Absolutely. Um, have we got any other cavalry hanging around? We did have yeah, there's one there. There's one. There's one up north as well, maybe. Mm, maybe wrong. No, just Spartans. No. Yeah, okay, we've got a couple then. That's actually pretty good. Bloody barbs. Go send those out to deal with the barbs. Um, this ta this is this is stomping towards Ekbatana. We'll take this out. Oh, wow, look at those walls. They had proper walls. Not that they helped. I guess we're in an age of an age of kings. Uh, I don't think we're Send destroying it, right? Well, there is shit, isn't it? It's in the desert. It is shit. It's, it's a load of crap, this place. But a vassal's a vassal, you know? I think it's good to have one out there. Yeah. There's more peasants to spawn. Yeah, but it might just get barbed by if we don't... If we're leaving. Oh, yeah, okay, destroy it. Destroy it. Burn it to death. All right, sorry. Well, we have to look at Birmingham now, because it's got more pop. Yes. So it needs sanitation. It needs sanitation now, right, okay. Well, we should have enough to afford some sanitation. I don't think there's any buildings that we can build that do sanitation. Um, there aren't, but we can build a midden heap, a pile of midden a, heap, a pile of shit. Where would you like to build that? Um, uh, here on the road. It's coming next. I guess it's next to the. What's next? What's that building? The, the oven. Scrub, the oven. We could burn yeah. the midden. We could burn all the midden. Yeah, civic. Oh, it's thirty-two. 32. Mm -hmm. Next turn. Hopefully it won't be uh, too bad. I mean, looks. We also need more housing. 
Each population above 10 requires two sanitation. <whistles> wow. What does the midden give you? It gives you four, I think, or maybe six. Okay, so that would be enough then. Yeah, it would be enough, but just about midden. Four. Oh, you can work it for four more. Oh, okay. So it's okay. eight. That's pretty good. All right, in we go into Delhi. Without knights now. Wow, I can't believe we're upgraded. There we go. Okay, they got conquered very easily. All right. I'm, I'm happy that this area is a bit clearer now. Yeah, these guys are probably going to attack. So we, can we bring those... Bring the guys... Yeah, send... Keep a couple back. This is a decent army, this one. It's high yeah. level. Two berserkers and a Spartan. We, we do need to get more guys. I think... Wait, wait for some more guys still. Okay, the Krasadar was a successful defense. Nice. So we'll put them back in there. And Hyderabad is the spearman just staying there for now. And these are our knights, they need to come back and heal. Okay. So we, which one did we decide we were picking in the end? Because I mean, um, th remember, this wanted, gets us a lot of production. The, no, the one that could, you can use gold. Um, Gills. Guilds. It's yeah. going to be a while before we can. Well, it's 16 turns to research, honestly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When 16 turns, I think we'll have the gold. All right. Um, Maybe. Oh, we, no, we won't because we won't have. Um, what's the, we, we won't have uh, integrated it. Yeah. Feudalism is so much with all these upgraded farms. and like Basically, this is loads of food. This is loads of production. Yeah. Um. And they both work great for us. I think we could lean into like improvement points and fixing our towns up and making our like two really cool medieval towns. We're gonna need this anyway, organized religion, and this almost certainly to upgrade all of our spears. So we're gonna need like four things, and we want a compass because we want to go across the sea. Fishing fleets. Oh god, yeah, we're gonna need this. But we have, I don't even have fishing level one. I don't think at this point. We want a lot of stuff from the Age of Kings. Let's get the guilds. Let's just start. Yeah, we. I think we need that because we've got to start getting those art points. Yeah, that just means, like, even if it's just, like, one per turn. Yeah. Oh, my God. So I don't think we're going to be able to do it anytime soon. Let's get the production for now, or, or the feudalism. Let's get the feudalism for now for, okay. for, for, for food. Oh, no, this is, we need sanitation, though. The problem is, like, we've already got plenty of food. We just need, uh, mm. we need to clean yeah, up. I feel like food isn't an issue right now. Like, having too much, um, too much people is going to be an issue. All right, we'll build the machines then. Fine. Birmingham's losing pop somehow, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because it's, um, bad. Oh! Druids! Druids! A, a kind of druids that live on the outskirts of the United Kingdom have been stirring up trouble. That will make people in Birmingham starve. That might solve our problem, Duncan. Um... Oh! Oh, ex oh. Someone the USA not. rejected. The <laughs> USA just rejected peace. So the we USA, saw Birmingham help. They rejected peace. I didn't okay. know us. They've heard stories, I'm sure. So Birmingham, so so it looks like these druids are making minus four food from flower goods. Okay, can we buy a press? And can we build an impress improvement? Yeah, probably. Oh, but we, we, we need to get the midden, though. We do. Well, we're not starving, actually. We are shrinking, yeah. In 11 turns. That's not too bad, though. I think the more pressing is the, the sanitation issue. Okay, let's, let's get the midden. Bam, a midden heap. A heap so of midden. We don't need to work it yet because it's... Now we're shrinking in 60 turns. Okay, so the druids have, have stopped our food being sufficient, but that's not actually a huge problem because the food is still coming in just fine. Oh, it's only be four turns, yeah. Okay, and we, we can... If we need to, we can work the midden for an additional... We can send a guy to be the shit shoveler. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this granary is going to give us food in a turn. Oh, yeah. And then I think we're kind of almost out of things to build, but we can build this. We can levy workers and generate improvement points every turn. And that okay. will actually help us upgrade Are there our... any buildings here that give us arts? Oh, so I guess there's not, because we haven't got the unlocked. No, I haven't seen any. It's a bit <sighs> frightening, actually. Do you want me to send an army down to um, Eden? No, no. Just take the city first. Take India. We can okay, worry about that you yet. Need to move the big army towards India. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to leave this spearman here. Sure. 
And I'm going to leave this crappy leader level one here as well. Okay. And then the rest of it's going to move on to Marseille. Nice. All right. This is actually a worker who's going to go and... A, a merchant. Oh, I guess we can just have the merchant go here. I mean... Oh, too late. <laughs> well, but there's already one in Bhopal, so... I know, but we're about to take uh, the capital. Oh, we can buy a new one, right? Okay. It's only... It's only 30 diplomacy XP. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> we'll be all right. Um, did, we spend, did we spend diplomacy to like make those peace deals? I, maybe we did. I don't know. I feel like we have more than that. Well, well, we're, we're stuffed anyway. All right. Let's go and look at this land. It's like a it's like a little green ar arrangement behind the thing. Might be gold. It might be gold in them near hills. Might be gold in them near. We can make our own gold. Oh wow! Killed a killed a unit. I'll take it. Well, good thing I left stuff behind in Delhi because it immediately gets barbed. Yeah. Oh, a good a good thing. Bend the Ooh. knee. Pre-gunpowder units get plus attack versus militia. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I mean, we're attacking a lot of militia units. Yeah, we always have, right? That sounds good. I mean, we are pre-gunpowder. 600 wealth is nothing. India wants Continue us to... war. India wants peace. Yeah. No, no, we want to... We will have peace when every one of us, one of you is dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, we'll run these guys down. Splat. Crossbows in the open oh, against knights. That's a bad matchup. That one uh, looks like they ran. Aw they tried to run away. So we just carry on moving through. Do you want to leave anyone at Marseille? Marseille. Yeah, we can leave. We can leave a berserker here behind, I guess. What's our Spartan army doing in the north? Her slowly running back. Really? <laughs> yeah. They're slowly oh, moving yeah. back down the coast. What are those resources there? Yeah, I noticed that. Is that tobacco or something? Here is um, tobacco, and here, yeah, here is something else. Tea. Tea. Oh, okay. Maybe these are, like, just revealed? I think they just got spawned in the Age of Kings, yeah. Sadly, nothing in our capital. Of nothing, nothing of any use to us, no. <laughs> the capital wasn't very good, was it? Are we sending them back up to Suzdal, I guess, probably? We need a road across this stupid desert, dude. Like, it's fucking hell trying to traverse this area. Yeah. I like how we were like, let's burn this city down because we're going to use this city to expand, and then it just instantly gets barbed to death. Well. Let's kill these guys. News mm -hmm. from abroad. Greece and Rome oh, Greece and Greece Rome, Rome have ended their war. All right. So, what? So, can we make? levy workers. Okay. We're going to get improvement points and we're going to improve our tiles. Nice. Um, I feel like... I feel like there's a lot of tiles that need improving. Yeah. We can get these grapes now. We've got two art points from somewhere. Did we build that thing? Where did we get those art points from? Yeah, where are we getting them from? Oh, Birmingham is from giving Birmingham? us one per turn. Maybe it's because we've now in the chivalry we get one by default. Oh, the national okay, spirit that's good. of it. So we are getting one per turn. Is there anything in the tree, the chivalry tree, which gives you more? Oh, let's have a look. Victory ages. Oh my gosh! From the age of kings, it's possible to move into a victory age. So oh. the age of conquest, you must be at least one hundred fifty percent as strong as any other oh, nation. We might be that. If you attempt, if you move in the game in. If you move the game into conquest, you are attempting to win the game. Like other ages, conquest has unique content and rules. Okay, wow. We could try for wow. a victory age. I mean, I, I feel like we might just hit it anyway. Our strength is pretty good. The age of conquest. Yeah, I know. We're like, we're like, we're like conquering. Once we take India. Mightily conquering. We can put one knight in each of these armies and we can have these knights on like patrol. This is two strong armies here. And they're not maxed though. Uh, no, but that these knights will max them. Oh, I see. Yeah. I mean? And this this knight army, I need think it needs to be. We on, should like, spend some warfare XP on something. Yes. 
volunteers. Some volunteers. Put them in one of our empty, empty cities. Okay. Happy with that. You guard. These guys are heading back up to Suzdal. <laughs> God. That's gonna be a while. Good luck, lads. Are they, are they taking like damage when they cross a desert? I don't think so. No, 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 I don't mm. think so. They're, they're wounded from. I guess that's the day when they took the city. Memphis, what should we build there? Do you want um? Um. What shall we get? More food in Memphis, I think. We do need a sure. midden heap here as well. Okay, let's build one of them in Memphis. Uh, we don't have enough yet, I don't think. I'll build we'll... it around the back. Oh, we... Ooh. Oh, yeah, we do have enough, just. A midden. There we go. It... they got to go through the forest to put the poo in the pile. I think it's quite a nice idea to have it. <laughs> it looks like flies with the... Uh, Who's living there? ...tile highlighted. It's That's little work huts to pile up all the crap. <laughs> Bryony was telling me today she went to Lyme Regis... Which is this like um, nice little British seaside town, right, on the Jurassic Coast? So mm. there's lot, always like ammonites and stuff, and you know lots of cool, lots of cool stuff to see there on the, you know. Um, all right, here we go into Bangalore. Um, wow. But she <laughs> apparently like it's, it's the cliffs are all eroding away, and they there's like a Victorian rubbish dump there. Oh yeah. Um, and what that I guess that means is that back in the day they would they didn't have plastic right well the victorians i don't know if you know this um well at least not uh, anything that was like not biodegradable and so it tends to be like the the remains of the rubbish dump is all like um pottery and like uh, like old you know vials and yeah like weird stuff um victorian rubbish but of course the because the cliffs are eroding away it sort of run like this rubbish Victorian rubbish heap, midden heap, like hmm. dumps out onto the beach. Oh god. Which but apparently it's not like super gross. Oh we nearly so. Nearly got him. <gasps> we did get him. No we didn't. They're still running away. I can imagine that being quite interesting. You'll find like lots of Victorian artifacts. Might not even need the second army by the looks. Bangalore. Like it. Bangalore. World in, India. I'm gonna fight this they tried camp. their best. They just got all their armies that they had scattered around and consolidated them. They would have been fine. Look at this big barb army here. It really is, yeah. Seasoned barbarian arch. I'm going to have to bring the knights around to, to help, I think. All right. All right, you carry on moving. I'm going to just guard here. Because I'm scared of those barbs. Okay. When we're in a, just like, like we're in chivalry now, right? So, do we lose all the bonuses we had from the last age? Um, no, they're still here. Or do you just keep? Do you keep the last one? Oh, okay, yeah, you still get them. That's nice. Yeah, you don't. You don't ever. You can still put like it's like a. You can still put stuff into the tree if you wanted to finish it off. Oh, cool. Nice. Nice. India is out. We eliminated India. The capital is ours. So we just need a little bit more um, to get the merchant in there. But yeah, we can start. Um, start. Wow, God, look at the right on the end, weren't they? Yeah. Right on the end of the world. What a, what a spawn point. We chased Jeez. them down to the ends of the world. <laughs> um. Yeah, pretty pleased with that. I think that went well. Oh, the barbs, the barbs oh, are coming. God. Maybe you move them, yeah, back a bit. <laughs> Until I've got my support. Right, they need to fight their way through these barbs to their camp. And then we'll It's march. kind of crazy that our age two Spartan unit is still relevant. Yes. Well it's 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 I think it's just a solid spearman unit with good defense. Greece would like us to open their open our borders. Mm, sure. Why not? The United States want to offer peace, sure. Oh, okay. We tried that. They didn't before, but now they <laughs> do. Alright. Let's take out this bargain. Maybe they'll give us arts XP. No, they'll give us <gasps> diplomacy XP. I'll take it. That might be a way of getting art XP though, you're right. Spawn a merchant. In they go. Nice. Alright. How many turns do we get Bohol Bopal? Bopal. Thirty-nine. Yeah, Eesh. this is this is the one we want to bring in as a gold a gold factory. Yeah. 
because we can probably like um, prospect these hills and these hills and these hills to make gold yeah. as well. And then these hills and these hills maybe. Have they got a town in Bhopal? They don't. I've got dwelling. Where would they put the town? Maybe here? Hmm. Okay, well, it's, yeah. it's kind of trapped in terms of, like, areas around it anyway. It is. It's quite a cramped city. So it'll expand this way, I would imagine. Maybe we, maybe we should have uh, destroyed the town in in uh, Bangalore first. Then we could have expanded Volpal. Well, what, like, now. attack that, yeah. kill this, and then given them this area And the borders would have gone to, to Bhopal. There's already a mine here with um, coal in it anyway. Oh, I see. Oh, well. Oh, goodness, they're under attack. What happened? Shit. Oh, well. We, Most we of them died. Yeah, <laughs> the Spartans stand strong. Turns out barbs <laughs> are not very good. We did know this. All just Spartans are really good. Stand strong. Well, they're good on the defense, and we know that, yeah. though, don't we? Oh, I'm glad we left the spears there. This barb I've left on this hill, I forgot about. The thing just is, he's, he's never been able to move because I left him on guard until healed. Oh, mm. well, they killed themselves on you. All right, barb, barb off, off we go across this mountain then. Um, This big army. Now, I don't think I really need to leave much down here. You, you leave a guy. What, leave a berserker? Yeah, or a Spartan. One Berserker protecting Bangalore, just in case. All right. Well, don't forget yeah. we'll have peasants soon. It's true. Well, you say soon. In a million turns, yes. That's what mm -hmm. I mean, soon. Oh, well, and of course, Birmingham is making improvement points, so we're, we're using, we're getting loads of improvement points now. Okay, so. When we get... Hmm, okay, so... I don't think we want to use up all of our tiles, just because I know we're going to have to have, in order to keep growing this city, we're going to need things like other houses, other sanitation, dwell, like luxuries, you see what I mean? And I'm not sure how to get luxuries here. I think you can transfer things, goods to other cities later on. Oh, that would be really helpful. Yeah, because then we could consolidate all the stuff into the right, the right place. Yeah, I think you can like have one place that builds luxuries and send them out to other places, and you can have one place that builds food and, sends, and bread and sends that out to other places. Because um, I think that's why bread is so good. The idea is it's like 10 you food. You can it. just send 10 food somewhere. I think you can only send one good at a time right. on a trade route. Um, which is why having these consolidated production chains is, is really helpful. So we... Oh, we still can't... How do we expand this? It would be really this, nice if we could get this, this water, wouldn't it? Yeah, there's so much fish out, out there. Well, let's just quickly pop back to the lowest age. Uh, second lowest stage because with this scouting. shipbuilding let's get, we can go through forests if we get scouting <laughs> yeah but remember look this um, we might have we might be worth doing shipbuilding just to spawn a utility ship increase the speed of expanding into water oh tiles. right yeah, yeah that looks that. important I know it's been a bit delayed it's only one turn there is another chaos event happening soon oh right well in that case we should be careful not to because we might not be able to pay it off if it's a bad one. Mm. If it's a really bad one. We do have a decent amount of money. Let's just have everyone else defend. It's just our empire is so stretched thin and so wide. Seat of power. York can... Well, can we, I guess we can move our government to York. We're not moving it to York. That's how that happened in the UK. Yeah, but York was probably better at that point. I don't know. <laughs> It seems <laughs> we've got two strong cities. Why would we move our government? Well, it's to already York? up to four pop. Look, York's growing, dude. York's going places. Yeah, but imagine it doesn't got any improvements. Or well, we can, we can make some. We can <laughs> We're make, not moving our government to York. We can get. We can get this. Um, cot, if this, anything, Memphis maybe. York needs a needs a town. We get. We can build a town in York next turn. How about that? Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh no, the vassals have rebelled against their rulers. No, we can't have that. Rulers. We literally have to pay that off. There's so many vassals. Spawn rebels four on all of our vassals. Ugh. Okay. Sure, you can have open borders, Rome. All right, well, I'm glad we kept, kept enough money for that. But now chaos is back down to 12 per turn. I wonder how we reduce our chaos per turn. I don't think we can reduce it. 
because we've all we've been very warlike, and this is just one of the things that we have to embrace. Right. I'm sorry. We have to embrace war. Well, I think we have. <laughs> we've embraced it pretty well. All right, we've we're leaving. Okay, so all, all this is protected. It's all nice. We can move the army out. Yeah, we I'd just... like to get eyes on all the borders of this whole continent just to see like how much space we can work with. Ooh, a oh, camp. that's the camp. That's the one which was spawning the stuff, I think. Right, let's move the Spartans up. Head to Susdal. Yeah, if we can get like actually proper clearance, if we get some patrols going around the edge, that probably needs some defence. Okay. Nice. Exploration. And we have the thing that spawns two spearmen on a vassal. Isn't that a better one to use? Oh, well that's um, no, that costs the government um, XP. Oh. I'd rather use this to integrate vassals if we use it. Yeah, 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 good point. Um, do we want to integrate any vassals? Do we want to integrate perm? No. Oh, we can't even. It's too far away from our centre. Do we want to spawn a settler? It would be nice to get a road down south. If you can get a settler that puts a city in a position that creates a road. I see. Oh, yeah, that goes through this area. How far do you think it needs to be to create a road? Well, look, if we can get one from Memphis to uh, the south, one south of that. Oh, what, from Azura? So what, a set, settler here? Yeah, Memphis. We put a city there, like, by that... Yeah, and that will... Maybe, like, And we'll have a road to grass, India. Because if we're going to be making all our gold in India and having the actual cities there, then we probably should have a road between them. Okay. Let's spawn a settler. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hang on a second. There is a way to make that cheaper if we want to pay, take this. Make it cheaper by 30% while you're spending the same amount we're spending on a settler? Yes. No. <laughs> well, no, but we might want two settlers. <laughs> I think we... Doesn't Shivery give us settlers? Um... If we get the art stuff. Oh, you're right. Game. It probably does. Spawns one settler yeah, and one knight. Okay. and one knight. So maybe we don't want this yet. But look, we can also do this thing. Look, we can generate knowledge from a vassal based on its population and prosperity. Oh, that's pretty oh, good. That could be that could be amazing. I really yeah, want to try this out. Sorry, can we try this out on Perm? Because it's three hundred percent prosperity in Perm. Yeah. I feel like this is like the perfect place to do it. Order research. Wonder how much it's going to give us. It's plus thirty-three. 33. Wow. That's actually quite a lot. That's like it does half its prosperity though. So let's put the tech back into we've got the shipbuilding tech now, by the way. Nice. Um we'll so we put should this expand to back. that. Which will we researching for Feudalism. machines? Oh no, was it machines? Yeah, it was machines. Right, we'll put we'll put that So we'll order the research there. Bam. That got three turns worth of research. That's pretty that's pretty good, Duck. I'm pretty I'm a little bit that. worried that we might have wasted that research bomb on the uh, one turn shipbuilding. Oh no, I no I put I changed the I changed it. No, the second the first one I mean. The first research bomb. Yeah, didn't you use two? No, I only used one. Oh okay. I had to research it from here. So I right. spent one to learn it. Oh yeah. And then I spent one to do it. But now we can do it on like Bangalore next time and, and, and potentially even like Bhopal. Um, before it goes. Hmm. We got thirty-seven turns on that one, so. I think we wait till we can build settlers with this. This is this is the way forward, I think. And then we'll get the settlers. All right. I still think yeah, I still think one settlement would be nice just to get the road built. But uh, now we can also found a religion. Oh. Use does that use arts XP? Uh, no. It's an arts culture power though. Will that give us? It might art, give us think? art stuff. I think we should probably do it. Okay, we're gonna found. Oh, we can reduce chaos. <laughs> nah. Found a religion oh, in Birmingham. Change the change the our version of things. Do we want to found? What do you mean? No, Birmingham? we didn't declare war on the world. They attacked us first. Okay, which is our custom religion? Um, what do we want? Do you want? Uh, well, what should we? Bo call bone it? bonism. Bonism. <laughs> Well, we've already built a load of. <laughs> we've built a load of bone buildings. Is there a picture of a bone? 
It's a crab. Oh, the little frog guy. Is that, crab. is that a crab? I see a crab. And they put that in for you. <laughs> <laughs> Crabs for people. It's a little spill umbrella. This is this is actually a very UK religion, isn't it? Rainfall. Rain. <laughs> okay, religious building. You can name the religious building. Like I guess from like church to. Oh yeah, what do we call our religious building? Um, I guess we want um to work if we're worshiping the rain. What's the most British building, Greg's? Greg's. <laughs> 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 I like that. I like being able to name the 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 building. You shelter in the Greg's from the rain, and that's and that you 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 worship by tithing money to buy sausage rolls. So, can we? How do we like? What was the what's the religion do? Well, uh, the state religion is plus ten faith. Uh, so I guess it I guess it satisfies our faith requirement so Does it far. Give us anything though? I think it's possible that uh it, I don't know. Maybe it lets us build certain buildings. I guess they'll pop up. I don't know. We'll see. Um we'll see. I guess we need to spread it a bit first. Maybe. Yeah. Is there is there a new building in this now? Can we build a a, a thing. I think we need to get Greg's. a religious tech to do that. Okay. But this is a religious birthplace. It gives us ten religious, which is great. I think. Ten rainfall, which is really good. Uh, let's quickly get the meeting hall. It's only two. We've got enough improvement points that we're not spending right now. Partly because I'm saving them. I guess we can soon with with machines we can upgrade these forest these long lumber to lumber mills. That's the idea that we're yeah. gonna get more, lots more logs, put them all through the sawmill, and then we can get the fish once to get those tiles. Yes, and then we, that's the idea. We need housing still. Do we? We can upgrade the dwelling soon, I think, to that villa we saw. Okay, yes, yeah, that's true. Um. Oh, oh! oh! The borders grew sea immediately tiles. as we said. You found a religion. Your people start to develop a need for faith. They can be provided by blah, 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 blah. Okay. Cool. The influence of your religion causes unrest in other people's cities. That's cool. Nice. What the heck is this? Oh, there's clay pits in Perm. They built clay pits. What do they do? Hmm, I guess they give you clay. I think they make production if you don't have hills or forests, possibly. And you can probably make it into pottery at some point. We can build fishing, fishing boats. boats. For give food! Us food. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. They're cheap as well. Is there fish on that tile? There's not even any fish on those tiles. Oh, you're right. There's not even fish there. Shit, the tuna is out here in the oat. Yeah. This is the, these are the tuna tiles. These are the... And that. That one's a tuna, yeah. That we, haven't a got tuna. Any, we haven't got any tuna tiles. Ah! So I built fishing boats on the tiles without tuna? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you want to undo sake. that. Um... Yeah, I did. Uh, shall I build a dock <laughs> there instead, then? Yeah. Uh, it, on first time built, spawn utility ship. Oh. A utility ship? What does this do? Utility um, ship. Just, I guess, lets us sail around. What does it do? What's that button? Oh, it can harvest, look. Harvest, harvest goods. Harvest goods. You can harvest some tuna. Okay. Wow. I'll take it. Um, this army is going to carry on returning this way. Alright, there's loads of armies marching still. Let's just back up these guys and rest them on the hill for a turn. These guys are still heading to Eden to melt that. Minor Nation, we're marching up to Sunstall. And then that's it. That was a huge mega turn. So much going on. Oh, my barbs are under attack. Oh, barbs in the sea! No! Attacking my utility boat! I only just built it, you fuck! <laughs>